Hi guys! I hope y'all are having a wonderful day so far. I'm really excited to film this video for y'all. I have been wanting to share a video like this recently, but then I saw our friend Kristen Game do this video and I was like, this is brilliant. It's exactly what I've been wanting to do. It's kind of sort of going to be like my current everyday skincare. Um, you're going to see a mixture of products, but this is basically the basket that I reach for every day, which to be noted, Kristen and I are actually basket twins. <laughs> when I was watching her video um, a few weeks ago, I realized, yeah, we have have the same exact basket that we have put our skincare stuff in so like what are the odds of that but uh yeah girl we're on the same uh, wavelength so um yeah this is like everything that I'm using and what I reach for on a daily basis and not all of it I use daily um obviously some of this stuff I just reach for maybe once a week or when needed um but yeah I'm excited because I feel like there's some products in here that you guys haven't a few products you haven't even seen me show because I never hauled them. Um, so I'm going to just get right to it. Um, first thing up is this Garnier Radiance Renewer Cleansing Gel A. This is the face wash that I keep at my sink. And I think in my last empties video, I showed you guys where I had finished one up and I said that I wasn't going to repurchase one again immediately because I had a lot of cleansers to go through. Um, and when I said that, I didn't realize that in my stash of skincare products in my bathroom, I already had a backup of this. So that should go to show you guys how much I love this. Um, it is a wonderful drugstore cleanser. Um, I didn't even know Garnier skincare was like that notable, um, but I feel like this is probably my fourth or fifth bottle of this. It's awesome. I can't say enough about it. If you guys haven't tried it, I feel like everyone is kind of sleeping on it, and um, it's it's wonderful. It takes off all of my eye makeup. I could stay on this one subject for so long, so I better keep going. Let me get comfortable. I'm like filming in my guest bedroom on the foot of the bed, and there's like a a footboard right in front of me so I feel like a little bit yeah I'm always a little bit uncomfortable when I film from this position but it's easy a little bit easier lighting wise because I have natural uh, light coming in from the windows in front of me so anyway tangent um, okay so that's my cleanser I'm gonna sort of maybe do this in order for you um, that's what I use every day but I like to mix in different products every once in a while just to kind of mix it up and throw something different in there. Um, you know, every product serves a purpose at a different time. Maybe you need something a little bit stronger. Um, this is the Philosophy Miracle Worker Miraculous Anti-Aging Lactic Acid Cleanser and Mask. If I am having any sort of breakouts, this is a cleanser that I will go to to get me through that breakout stage. Most of mine will pop up and I think it's mostly hormonal, um, like around my chin area. And most of the time they don't even like come to fruition. I don't know if that makes sense, but you know, it'll just be something that will pop up under the skin. And I tried to like deal with it pretty quickly, but this is an awesome product by Philosophy because you can also use it as a mask. You can apply it on your face and it goes on clear, um, but you can let it sit for like five minutes and then wash it off and it does just make your skin feel amazing. But the lactic acid in it, I do feel like I go for this um, anytime my, my face is like freaking out a little bit. Um, okay, I think that those are the two cleansers that I have in here, so that covers that. Um, as far as a toner goes, right now I'm using this Murad, Murad Clarifying Toner. I don't, I think I've talked about it, but never shown it in a video. I have, I bought this to replace the Clarins um, Chamomile Toner, which is still my favorite. I absolutely love it, but I wanted to just try something different. But this is, it's good, and I didn't love it at first because it does, like, have a little bit more of like an, an astringent toner feel to me. Um, it it kind of tingles, makes your skin just sting just a little bit when you use it. Um, but I feel like it's grown on me. I don't think I would ever repurchase it, but for right now, it's getting me by until I can pick up another. I'm going to finish this. It's not just getting me by. I'm going to use it all up, but um, I, I will probably go back 
no doubt, to my Clarins uh, Chamomile Toner. That's just my favorite. I love the way that my skin feels when I use it. Um, so I will probably finish that and then, I don't know, just stick to what I know and what I trust. Right now, I'm also using the Caudalie Grape Water that I picked up in Paris. You can get this here. I just happened to pick this one up on our trip. Um, this is a great spray toner. It's also just really nice to kind of refresh your skin. Um, I like to use this immediately following the Murad toner. I know it's kind of like double duty on your toners here, but you can always layer your skincare. Don't be afraid of that. And I feel like that this is really calming to my skin when after I use this because my skin is tingling just slightly. So I like to spray the grape water on it to just cool it because it instantly does cool your skin. And it just feels really nice. Um, I love this. I don't know that I will like, I think I'll buy it again at some point when that's, once I'm done with this one, but I won't like rush out to buy it. It's, it's good, but it's just, it's a spray. You know what I mean? Um, right now too, I'm using this Co Cogendo or Cogendo. I'm not real sure how you say it. Cleansing spa water. It's one of those micellar solutions. I like to use this one in the morning with a cotton pad to just kind of swipe all over my face because I don't do like a full face wash in the morning but I feel like this does the job of just getting any oil off my face that has you know I've produced in the night um, before I start into my skincare to do my makeup and then for eye makeup remover I'm loving this Clarins instant eye makeup remover it is very gentle I feel like just the tiniest little bit of this gets off any stubborn like waterproof eyeliner or mascara that I'm wearing so I feel like this is a great one and I will this is gonna last me a while because you just use a tiny tiny bit um, but I do think I'll probably stick to the Clarins eye makeup removers I just like that they don't leave you know how some eye makeup removers we've talked about this before kind of leave your eyes a little bit like filmy afterwards and that one definitely does not um, I have let's see a couple of things so trying to go in order here um, well let's just talk about a few masks real quick I have two Clarins masks that I reach for on the regular one is the pure and radiant um, mask with pink clay I feel like this is a really good also like um, detoxifying mask because the clay in it I feel like really kind of pulls any impurities out of your your pores but it's also got the added bonus of it kind of brightens your skin and speaking of brightening this is a great one this is um, I use this as a mask sometimes but it is actually called an exfoliator it's the Clarins bright plus HP gentle brightening exfoliator I like to use this though and let it sit on my skin for about five minutes and then wash it off and I like to use one of those muslin cloths to remove it I just feel like that makes my skin feel so incredibly smooth and it leaves you just with like a glow but I mainly love how smooth it leaves your skin but you can use this just as a regular exfoliator I don't use a ton of exfoliators I just don't find that my skin really requires that as a step um, especially because I feel like I'm taking good care of it with all the products that I'm using but yeah it's you know it's to each his own whatever you really feel like you need to do um, the Clarins Beauty Flash Balm is a kind of one of those miracle all-in-one savior products it says it brightens and tightens but it just it's a fabulous primer if you want to use it underneath of your makeup it also is a great like overnight mask if you want to apply it to your skin and not wash it off until the next morning um, just really great fabulous I love it um, as far as let's see serums go right now I am using some different ones um, so first up this is an Aesop fabulous face oil I'm kind of using this in place of your traditional serum but it's the juniper berry ylang ylang and jasmine petal I picked this up in London at um, Liberty um, it does smell really nice but it kind of has um, a little bit of a medicinal scent to it too it, I will say this, it doesn't smell as great as I thought it did in the store, which I don't know because it definitely hasn't like gone bad or expired or anything. I've only had it for probably two months. But it says it rapidly absorbs hydration. It's 
rapidly absorbed hydration boost for normal, dull, and congested skin. So I feel like a lot of people um, could use this, but ASAP is kind of hard to get your hands on. Um, so when I'm not using that, because I don't ever use that with a serum, but I have a, I have a few different serums here that I can show you. Hmm, let's see, what else do I have? Um, okay, so this is one of them. This is the Algenis Retinol Firming and Lifting Serum. This is just a sample that we got in like either our New Beauty test tube or Glossy Box. I think this was probably New Beauty. Um, but this is just a great everyday serum. I love that it has retinol in it. I am trying to introduce some retinol products into my skincare routine. You'll see something else in a second um, that I'm using as far as a retinol goes. And then this, I need to talk about this for a second, the Ole Henriksen True Serum Collagen Booster. So you guys, if you watch all of our videos, might remember that in the, the QVC New Beauty Test Tube, we got one of these. And even in my, our kind of like review video that Jamie and I did for the box or the tube, um, I said that I didn't love this because that it had a sticky feeling. And I want to address that again. I didn't even know that I had this. This is an, another one that was in my box of samples. I don't know where it came from. I'm thinking maybe it came in a Saks free gift with purchase that I bought like the end of last year um, because I, I definitely don't know where else I would have gotten this and it's a pretty generous size um, sample from but I have to tell you that I pulled it out and just thought well let me use it one morning I was doing my makeup and I was like let me just try this again as like my morning serum and this one is not sticky at all which I don't know how to explain that. Maybe the, the the one that I had gotten in my new beauty test tube was a bad a bad batch because Jamie said that she didn't experience any of that stickiness either. And I know that so many people love this product, um, so I have to kind of retract my statement from those videos and say that I am enjoying this now. I did not know that it wasn't sticky. I just had a bad one apparently. Really, really weird. I'm not sure how to explain that. But this is what I'm going to for my morning serum. Okay, and then speaking of retinols, I picked up um, probably two or three weeks ago this Philosophy Help Me Retinol Night Treatment. I don't use this every night and I also try not to use it if I know that I'm going to be in the sun a lot the next day. So if like on um, on weekends when I know I might be out with my dogs and my husband and be spending time outdoors, I try not to use this because retinols can make you more sensitive to the sun. But I do find that I'm really interested now in this point in my 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 age and my, my skincare routine that I want to use more retinols and I try to keep this strictly to y'all are gonna laugh at me but I, I use it a lot right here between my brows because I have kind of I have that that little burrow right there that major crease um, that I, I just really try to focus it there and up onto my forehead and then along um, my cheeks and on my chin. This product does say that you want to keep it away from your eyes. So for eye creams and stuff, you know, try to get something that you know is is eye approved. And um, you definitely don't want to use this around your eyes. I'm pretty sure it even says that um, on here. Um, and then obviously too, um, like I said about using this prior to being in the sun. You just always do want to make sure you're using SPF if you're using any sort of retinol products, but I do kind of stay away from it if I know that it's heading into like the weekend and I um, am going to be in the sun a bit. So this is not something I go to in my routine maybe three times a week. I don't know if that's enough for me to really start seeing results from it yet, but I like knowing that it's part of my skincare. Um, so yeah. Okay, so moving right along, um, this is my favorite eye cream of the moment and probably maybe my favorite eye cream of all time. It's the Miracle Worker Miraculous Anti-Aging Retinoid Eye Repair by Philosophy. So like I said, something with retino retinoid in it that is safe for using around the eyes. 
I love this product. It is awesome. But I did get tempted lately to try a different eye cream, and I'm going to be completely honest and tell you I haven't used this yet. I picked this up just recently. It's by Derma Doctor. It's the Wrinkle Revenge Rescue and Protect Eye Balm. Heard really great like reviews on this product, so I figured it was something that I could try. I don't know with this Philosophy product how much is left in here. It feels still pretty heavy, but the packaging is pretty heavy. So I just figured I'd have a different eye cream to go to when that one runs out. But um, yeah, I like this. It's a really generous size. I feel like this is a lot more product than this, but no, they're both actually a half of an ounce. So I don't know why I feel like there's more product in this than this. But um, So those are the two eye creams. This is the one I'm primarily using at the moment, and this is the one that I will go to next. Um, for moisturizers, okay. I have a couple of different ones in here, but the one that I primarily use is the Philosophy Miracle Worker Miraculous Anti-Aging Moisturizer. This is, I think, my second tub of this. It's a great moisturizer. I love it. Um, I love that it's anti-aging. And then for some of the other ones that I currently use, this one is dusty. I haven't apparently reached for this for a while. This is the Clarins Hydra Quench Cream, another amazing moisturizer. I definitely think I go to this more in the winter months when my skin is extra incredibly dry, but I have put a huge dent in it. And this is a fabulous, fabulous moisturizer if you have dry skin. And then I have this one in here as well, which I haven't played with a ton, but um, I've used it because I've definitely put a little dent in it already. But it is one of the products that we received from our friend Christine from France. And this is, I'm not sure how you pronounce this brand exactly, but Ly Lyrac? Ly Lyroc? I don't know. Um, premium, and let's see. It's the Premium Day and Night Voluptuous Cream Absolute Anti-Aging. So every once in a while, I'll use that to just play with a different product. And then I have a few things left in here, but they're all kind of like little smaller products. One is the Clarins Radiance Plus Golden Glow Booster. I love this. You just, it's the most simple, genius, brilliant little idea. You put like two to three drops of this in your moisturizer. Um, I don't use this every day. I use it probably twice a week. Um, and it just gives your skin like a little bit of sun-kissed glow. And I don't like to use a lot of self-tanners on my face, so I feel like this compensates and makes sure that like whatever self-tanner I'm using on my body matches my face, so I have a little bit of glow from this. It's brilliant, genius. I love that you can use it with whatever moisturizer you have. Um, when I have breakouts, I really reach for this philosophy, um, Clear Days Ahead. It is the fast-acting salicylic acid acne spot treatment. Um, I don't break out a ton, but like I said, occasionally, hormonally, I will break out on my chin, and I really do, as soon as I feel it or notice it, uh, really start to try and target it and work on it. If I need something a little bit more heavy-duty, I use this Mario Badescu drying lotion. You just take a Q-tip and stick it down in here and get some of the pink sediment down in the bottom, and then dab it on the spot that you're treating. I try not to use this if I don't have to because this can be extremely drying, drying lotion, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I feel like I you can go overboard with that, which I learned from the product when I first bought it. Um, and your skin can, you know, the spots where you use it can get extremely dry. A couple of little things, just two little, little things left. This is a sample of the Glam Glow um, Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment. So this, is, this goes back to the sort of like mask category. Um, I have a little bit left in that. I don't love this mask. I only reach for it maybe once a month because it does, when it says it tingles, it downright burns, at least for me. It burns for the first few minutes. Once it starts to dry, the burning goes away, but I would much rather have the other Youth Mud um, mask from Glam Glow, the white one, than the Tingle Exfoliate, because when it says tingle, it it should be called Sting. 
use mud sting treatment <laughs> because it really does sting my skin. Um, so I don't use that too terribly often. And this is another mask that I'm just trying to finish up the sample of. It's the Bliss Triple Oxygen Instant Energizing Mask. Um, this is a really cool product if you have never tried it before. It goes on as a foam and it bubbles on your skin and produces like this very bubbly, wiggly mask um, that feels really bizarre because like the bubbles are bursting on your skin and stuff um, but it does leave your skin feeling like really bright and rejuvenated afterwards so this was just a small one that I am trying to finish up from a kit um, and that is it the only two things I have in here sorry aren't actually like skincare as in your face but they're just two little Willita, Willita, I'm never sure how to pronounce that, body oils. Uh, one is the pomegranate regenerating and one is the lavender relaxing. I just have these in here because every once in a while I will mix them with my moisturizer when I get out of the shower. So, And then if you really want to know, there are two little spatulas in here that I use too. Um, I use these to get the Glam Glow product out of here because it can be kind of hard to scrape that out. So I use these little spatulas for that. But now my basket is empty and dusty, might I add. Um, so yeah, that is everything in my current skincare rotation. So like I said, I use certain products as needed um, and other products I use every single day. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I felt like it was something that would be pretty informative and uh, just a good grouping of everything that I go to. So I appreciate Kristen Game filming this video recently so that I could say, hey girl, I think I am going to borrow your idea. So um, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below for me and I will see you on another video soon. Have a great one. Bye.